Okay, this is a video of how to look after your stick insects, and I will show you um, uh, the tips and different things. So, uh, this is my main cage. It's got my adult stick insects and uh, middle-aged. This is for babies and uh, eggs, and this is for the nymphs, and that's uh, like privet and if you're wondering what that is, that's oasis foam you get it from garden centres uh, or florists and it's really good for keeping in water and you don't have to refill it up as much as you do with just a normal water tub ok so I'm going to open it up um, I've got the Maclay's stick insects and uh, there's one eating I'm pretty sure this is privet. I, I'm not quite sure. If you if you know if it is privet, could you tell me? Because soon I would like to get the black beauties, and I need to know what they eat. Uh, so that's a male, and that one's a female. And up here I've got a really big one, which I'll get out gently. I've got to just urge it on. Oh no! It doesn't like to be touched much. Got to pick them up by the, the the middle of the body. You don't want to hurt them. And this is a very delicate one. It's very long compared to my hand or my thumb. It is pretty big. It's very delicate though. It's got very, very, very thin uh, legs. So uh, I'm not quite sure what species this one is but it will be helpful to know if you do know. Um, for the ground, I use dirt or soil, and I put sticks all over it so that they've got something to climb on. Um, soil's good because it soaks up a lot of moisture, and if they lay eggs, it will get incubated on the floor. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a mesh cage. There he is, moving. Uh, not wearing. I'm using a mesh cage. It's pretty big, um, so it's great for holding a lot of stick insects in it. That one moves like a spider. It's kind of freaky. Um, yeah, so this one holds a lot in it, and uh, you could get a good old hundred stick insects in there, but it's not good to keep a load because otherwise they overcrowd, and then they start to lose limbs, which is not good. Um, so yeah, I'm hopefully I'm going to breed those two. Uh, when they get adults, uh, really hoping that I'll breed them. Okay, this is the stick insect eggs. So uh, it's got a hatchling in there. It hatched this morning, so I was very pleased with that. Um, there's the hatchling. I don't know if you can see it very well. But yeah, it's not a very good computer. So I've put some bramble leaves in there, and all that, all those brown bits are all s little eggs. When that's an adult, I'll, um, I forgot the name of it. So if you, I'll take a video, and if you could tell me what species it is, that'd be brilliant. Um, and I've put a bit of a waste of foam at the end of the nip, so keep it watered. Uh, yeah, so that's my uh, eggs and hatchlings. Um, and it keeps it warm by the light and yeah so they need to have a nice temperature of about 25 to, 20 to 30 degrees and I've got a big open fire downstairs um, this one is for my nymphs uh, I've got two there and I've got two more McClay's stick insects in here they're on their second molt so when they're on the third I'll move them into the big cage because they're on their third molt. Um, yeah, so I carefully open this up. Got to be careful of their legs, otherwise it can really harm them. There's the two nymphs, and they're the two Maclays, and they're hanging upside down quite a lot lately. So I think they're about to molt. It's around about the time. Um, I've got a sticker set care book and some information of that will be down in the description um, 
but yeah, I use soil for most of my things, and I've been quite successful with a lot of different other breeds. Um, I've had the Indian stick insect, which I think everyone can breed quite easily, um, and I've, I'm yet to breed these, but I have also done the giant spiny, and I've managed to breed them, um, but I sold them because they were too big for the cage, and there's too many. So, yeah, um, basically, all you need is two, well, a mesh cage, you definitely need one of these, they're only about £15, pound. Um, and that's br absolutely brilliant for your sticks. You need a little tub that you bought one in, you keep that, because that can be good for the eggs. In there, there's the little nymph. Um, they've got air holes all along the side, you can't see them though because the camera's crap. Oh, there you go. And then um, you need a little tub for the nymphs. You don't have to, you can have them all in here, but I just like to keep them separate because it's nice to have them separate. Um, but yeah, so a uh, brief over thing. You need soil at the bottom, you need twigs. You don't need soil, you can use sand or moss. Moss is a great way. Um, it's just about to start eating. Yeah, you need obviously the stick insects, you need food, which I usually use uh, this, which I think is privet, and I use a lot of bramble. Um, you can feed Indian stick insects ivy, but I generally feed them bramble because it's much easier to get and ivy is not very nice for them. Um, yeah, the I've got some eggs at the bottom, if you can see them, a little brown spot. That's an egg. Um, you need a care book because if you're a beginner you really need to know all of the stuff and uh, it's got it all in there. That's a two uh, McClay stick insects there. A male and a female. Yeah, they're mating at the moment. Yeah, so um, yeah, you need another tub with Oasis foam which only costs like 70p for a block and you put your spare pieces in here and you keep that watered every day and it grows like crazy uh, even if the dead bits you keep keep them because they regrow like that and they start to get new sh shoots and it's a great way of getting extra food without having to go out especially in the winter uh, that one's started to eat now and that one's eating so they're doing great um, also you will need a sprayer or sprayer, let me just get that yeah, you'll need a water sprayer, and uh, I generally spray, spray them twice a day, so you just do that, uh, it's all it needs, um, you fill up the water thing, you spray the other two, and you spray the plants, and they all, they love eating, then it generally entices these things to the the clay scepters to uh, eat when you spray them and it's great to watch them eat uh, and I'll hope to bring out some new videos I hope this helped you and one more thing uh, I've lined the bottom of this with newspaper uh, so if the soil was to get through the little grooves which is quite uh, quite big for soil to get through but the eggs can't get through it uh, I've put newspaper at the bottom and it will catch it all and yeah that's basically how to care for them it doesn't take much uh, they're great pets to keep and I hope I help